Hey everyone, Eggman here, and today instead of a regular deck profile, I'm kind of doing more of a theory craft, kind of set for stuff, so uh, here we go. I've chosen Slug, uh, and we'll look at him. He has, uh, it's kind of like the blue Vegito from set one, or not Vegito, Vegeta, uh, where you choose one card in your life and you add it to your hand, it gains critical for the turn, so that's really good. It's self-awakens, it gets critical, which is really good. And then when your life is four or less, you draw two to flip him over. And then his other side, uh, Gigantified. Uh, when this card attacks, you draw a card. And then also, once per turn, you can place uh, one card from your hand to the drop area. And then your opponent chooses one card from their hand to the drop area. So kind of hand destruction more. Uh, you don't get crit on this side, which is okay, because you usually don't want to take life when you're in uh, Awakened side. So... Yeah, so he's green, and he kind of supports this whole hand destruction uh, play style. So I thought, um, as you'll see, that uh, the Maidens also kind of support this, and they're also green, so I kind of want to try that. So first, let's go to the extra cards. We have uh, four Sacrifice. I think this is like a really good negate uh, if you are a counter. Uh, and so you can pay one, and it's a regular counter, or... If your leader is Namekian, which Slug is, uh, you can choose one card in your life and add it to your hand instead of having to pay the cost. So it's really good if you have, you know, you can tap out, you can kind of say, oh, you can kind of bait them to say that you don't have any negates, and then they're, you know, going all in with this big old double striker, and you've got sacrifice, and then they feel bad. So, uh, yeah, let's see. We've got main transformation, so this is kind of like the maiden... Uh, swing card, kind of like March of the Great Apes. For, for four energy, you choose two maidens with four or less, and you play them. So normally you can get one of her, one of her. You can get two of them. Uh, she's also maiden squadron, so she's not... Um, she can also be chosen if, you know, in emergency situations, but uh, let's keep going. So there's Arbuto. He's just the one drop who looks for the top three um, for universe two cards. So just, you know, search through there. Rabrana, uh, Rabanra, main attendant. Uh, so this is our, you know, our free blocker when we have any of our Universe 2 cards out. Uh, he's he's actually been, like, really, like, a sleeper good card. Um, yeah, I, I really actually kind of like having this blocker in, in this format. So he's always good and just, you know, more fodder for Zerbuto. Uh Then there is Brianna. Uh, when you play this card, look at the top seven for uh, a Maiden Squadron. So that's only these four. You don't get Ravonra or Zarbuto with her, but she's also really good because she's a barrier, two drop. And then she uh, goes into uh, Rebrian for three energy, who also has barrier, pops a card when you play it. And then if Kakunza and Rosie are in play, you choose two cards from your opponent's hand and put them in the drop area. So that's, that's all really good. Uh, I like that. And uh, the other two are also here. There's Rosie with Blocker. Uh, if the other two are out, she switches to active mode at the yeah at the end of your turn. And then also Kakunza, which gets which is critical already. And then double or dual attack if the other two are in play. She like when I sort of first started out, this kind of like oh cool dual attack doesn't do much, but it's it's actually really good to have. Uh, like, even if, if you're unawakened, you know, three critical attacks in one turn is, you know, you're probably going to get at least one of those in there. Uh, let's see, what else? And then also, to kind of pad the deck, we've got kind of the Namekian Lord Slug stuff. So our super combo is uh, Sanel. Uh, if it's a super combo where uh, it's the five or less, so you can kind of, your opponent can kind of not see that coming as much. Uh, you know, draw a card, gain a thousand. Uh, and then for the Lord Slug package, we have four of him. He's just, he's pretty good because uh, you can, this doesn't search the top seven of the deck, this just searches the deck. So this will, like, never whiff. You can get any sl uh, Lord Slug army, uh, and that's really good, especially because, like, uh, on turn two you can play him, and then you can go into this one afterwards. But uh, let's go to Meta Matcha. Uh, so when you play this card, if our leader's slug army, you just get like a free token, and it's just five thousand power and five thousand combo cost. But uh, that's that's like not too bad. 
I w if, if the token had slug army, that'd be really good, I'd say. But I, I understand that why they didn't, but with all the bond stuff going on. So, uh, and then we have this. This one's actually the best one for this deck. So it has critical, which is good. And then if you have uh, bond two, so if you have any one of these other ones out, um, when it attacks, if, if a leader slug army, uh, your opponent chooses one card from their hand and place it in the drop area. So already when it attacks, it drops a card from your opponent's hand and uh, it's critical. So it's just like a double whammy of like uh, card destruction. It, that's just really good. And then lastly, two of this guy, uh, he's, I don't think I've ever played him with his effect, but you can just imagine how strong it would be to, you know, play this, you get Angela and then Angela just, you know, is able to attack for, and, you know, drop up to two cards out of your opponent's hand, so that's really good. So that's the 50 cards uh, that I have. I've also been trying to, or some other stuff. Uh, Mira, just because, you know, it's card destruction for Overrealm. Unlike the Mira center deck of Maidens, uh, you don't have as much cards in your drop area, and like Lord Slug and you know, of course, the Maidens really appreciate the drop area, so I haven't really put him in yet. Uh, there's this one. This one's kind of cool. Uh, so you can choose your own Namekian. So we have what eight or ten Namekians in our deck, uh, and then uh, if we do and we put it under him, we draw a card and we get plus one thousand power and critical. So that's really kind of strong. Uh, I just couldn't get it to fit in this deck, but I think I think it's I think it will find its way in other decks for sure. Uh, and then uh, also Noonfound Power Sun Gohan. Uh, so if you when this card attacks, you take one card from your life fat to your hand. If you do so, it gains a thousand or ten thousand power and critical. So that's really good. It's kind of like the one drop Kaba. But since since we already self awaken with our leader, I wasn't I didn't really think we needed this. Uh, Especially if we were going more aggressive, maybe we could use this. Um, but since we were more kind of like mid-range, set up a combo, and then just go for game, uh, I didn't think we needed to, you know, hit our life so drastically. Especially since our leaders is an untapped two energy. It's just uh, draw two. So, anyways, this is the deck I've been playing. It's been pretty fun. Um, you know, I love Maiden, so uh, I had to think of what to do with set four. Uh, I've gotten other ideas in with because uh, here's my my mirror one that I, I showed off a couple weeks ago. Um, I think this this style of it will be really cool. I'm still experimenting, but with like the new mirror leader, uh, which self awakens and untaps two energy, I think that's a bit better for for this. Uh, I think this deck really loves untap two energy just because you have to you have a swing turn of four energy and you want to untap two so yeah anyways that's the deck um tell me you guys where tell me what you guys think tell me if slug is uh good for the maidens or if, if there's any other leaders from this set four that you guys would recommend we try putting this package in and yeah i'll catch you guys next time oh I've had like this cute little puppy on my lap the entire time and he hasn't said a word. Do you believe that? Hello. Say hello. Oh yeah. He is just a sleepy dog. All right. Bye.